everybody, welcome to this amazing game of Dead by Daylight. Today we're gonna look at leveling up my freshly prestige trapper to maybe hopefully give you guys some tips on how to combat or use the entity to your advantage. Now, as of recently, there has been a change in the blood web where costs have changed, so the strategy might change a little bit. Um, since it used to be based on how close to the center the perk was or add-on, uh, that would be its price. So the closest was 3,000, 5,000, 8,000. Now it's based on rarity, where commons are only 3,000, uncommons are 4,000, rares are 5. So it's actually kind of cheaper. Now, typically in a blood web, what you want to do is if you're not too worried about leveling up speed wise and want to get some add ons that will actually help you out, you want to focus on making sure that you path your way there. And before we got to this video, I had already made my path to make sure that I got setting tools and my perk for this blood web. So I'll pick up the setting tools. And now, I don't need these wreaths as much, but I also don't like serrated jaws personally. I don't find me ever using it, and I don't see that it helps me at all. So I'll instead go for the wraiths to just be able to offer for something better. As you reach level 15, 5, and 10, 10 you are guaranteed your unique perk as that killer uh, so agitation i'll go for that immediately the faster you go for a perk the faster the entity appears when there are two perks available the entity always devours the second perk and becomes available in the blood web uh, to me here the only things i kind of like are logwood dies and the blood trapper or the trapper gloves not blood trapper uh, so we'll go ahead and start picking up every brown item because I want this to be as cheap as possible. And it's going to eat the die, which I'm fine with. As much as I do like it, I just wanted a fast level up and as cheap as possible. Again here, only a single perk. That should be fine. We'll go straight for it immediately and the entity will not appear until I think it's the fifth. There you go. It's appeared, but it doesn't make its first action until the fifth one. I'll take the die and the region. I really have no choice. Uh, and moving along, as you level up, these begin to fill up more and more. And at level 25, I believe you start to get two perks guaranteed per blood web. So again, I just make a straight beeline because there's nothing on this blood web that I particularly want. And I'm just going to go ahead and fill this up. The entity always spawns and takes from the outermost direction and then works its way to whatever is connected. Usually it takes downwards towards you, but... In this case, it had nowhere else to go. So hopefully as we level up, let's get more blood webs going. Pardon me if I skip to a part which actually has anything. Again, I just want as cheap as possible. So prevent it from taking the cheap item. Even though the hazy region is better, I just don't care so much about these. But I want to prevent it. Again, serrated jaws against the Tanaga wreath. Taking the wreath. I don't like the jaws too much. And so, I don't like the fastening tools as it slows down your trap setting. So I'm going to do my best to avoid that, and then I want a cheap run. If I wanted to make sure I got the cheapest I could, I can work my way here, grab this since there's no other perk, and just buy all the cheapest things I can on the outermost rim. Which means I lose that serrated jaw, and I'm forced to get this reef. So you can work to get the entity to work for you if you so want. I... Heavily prefer Nurse's Calling. It'll take Spies of the Shadow. I love Tar Bottle Die. It's 2,000 more expensive than some of the other common regions, so I'll be taking that. And a Mystery Box is always worthwhile. Uh, you take a gamble. Those delicious loot crates. How this is going to work when there's an inconnect... <laughs> interconnected web here is it will go down to one of these at random and then it will slide across instead of going down towards the wreath because they are connected sideways it will always head sideways uh, so we'll go ahead and just to demonstrate it that's how it works and again let's just breeze through these blood webs I always want to get a perk on every single blood web that I can Because you'll just waste your level if you don't. As long as you get rid of perks, it helps you along down the way. On this blood web, I want to make sure I can get trap fastener tools. It is not on the outermost rim, so I will go up to whispers. Then grab what I want. And I'm out of blood points, so we'll have to end that there. So with what we've got, ladies and gentlemen, and with what we're given, I have leveled up all the way to 22. Which has unlocked a second and third perk slot for me so now let's make do with what we've got nurse's calling at rank one is not terrible 
It's not as great as I want it to be. The eight extra meters makes a difference, uh, but we'll go with it anyways because I love it. And agitation, though it's not going to carry them all the way compared to everything else I have, Whispers 1 is absolutely useless. Never use it if you can avoid doing so. The unnerving's okay, but I think with agitation, brutal strength, and a nurse calling level 1, we'll get through this. Personally, I do love me trap setters and a trapper bag, so we'll be running with those. I only have one trapper bag, so we can make this as good as I can. Uh, and we'll use one of the wreaths that we put in, and let's see if we can make out anything with a level 22 trapper against rank 1s. Treatment Theater at Larry's Memorial Institute. Hello everybody, welcome to this amazing game of Dead by Daylight. Uh, hopefully I've gone over the... Um the blood web well enough for everybody, and unfortunately we have a disconnect right off the bat. Which, again, really dampens my day when this happens, because people don't like to see it, they always complain about it. So anyways, with Treatment Theater, your traps are pretty noticeable on the ground. Uh, so what you can do is you trap inside windows in the rooms. Uh, just hope they don't walk in here casually, because they will see it. Uh, you can get some grass areas on the outside, uh, but essentially you want to stop them from looping you pretty hard. Uh, in every room that can be trapped, I will trap. With that being said, there's not much to go over today. Um, we're playing Trapper a second time, and I know that's not usual. I usually swap up the killers pretty quick and often. Again, they don't always check in between here. This can be dodged by going through it pretty fast. Hmm, wonder where all my little survivor buddies are. Gonna go in here. It is kinda of foggy. That's no fun. One's called memers. You can go wrong with that. Hmm. I wonder if they're lost more than I am. So being I've spent majority of my time trapping inside windows, uh if they catch on to what I'm doing. It's an easy get around. There it is. Only three generators to go. Oh, hey, how's it going? I was gonna go for the trap, but I, I saw a little bit of you, so I'm gonna have to run this. This is a bad pallet. One. Little peacock, you gotta have to run, sweetheart. I've got an ear infection, I gotta go to the doctors. Kinda sucks, but it is what it is. Oh, where are we going, sweetheart? What window are you going through? You going through that one? No? Mm mm. Man, she didn't even go for that. She's got a skeleton key? What? What you doing with that skeleton key, girl? So they found it, which is very unfortunate, but it is what it is. I have to make do with what I've got. It's not a whole lot. Damn! Lucky find today. Where are you running off to, sweetheart? Can't be playing this game. If I knock y'all down too fast, you're gonna die. Hmm. Oh no. Damn. That's what you get. You just, you should never sit still under a pallet. You should keep running. Loop me once. You know, the usual. Now if I come back, I don't want you to like, do things. Are they breaking traps? They're, they're, they're definitely, they're definitely stopping my traps here. Don't want to be looped in here, so we'll just put a trap here. Just gonna do my best. That is not saying a lot. But again, they these are these traps are right in the open. The only way you get it is if they go, or like to go through the window that you're chasing them through. It also prevents them from going through that window themselves. I mean, they'll see it, but not from the other side, and that's that's what you gotta do. Hmm. A lot of people can complain that I don't give mercy when there's only three, but they get a free Jenny. I mean, what's the complaint here? Hmm. Wonder which Jenny they're on. 
Oh, whoopsie. He saved her. So I gotta find out what three they're on, like... Ugh, this is rough. They gotta be on here, right? Do some damage, make sure... Yeah, they, they're finding those traps. They're being very careful about the windows. Yeah, didn't think that worked so well. But it is what it is, like, I can't... I can't stop that any more than anyone else, so... Oh, this is not a great map for Trapper. Trapper's got rough life. I think they're focused more on stopping my traps than me. There we go. Reset. Nothing better than a trap that you think is disarmed. You go through the window and it was rearmed. Ooh, got somebody. Far distance, too. That's not good. That won't do me any favors. Wonder which one that. I think that was the one in the tall grass. Hi! I mean, were you trying to, like, distract me? It kind of worked. Kind of. Sweetheart, we're gonna have to talk about this. I'm gonna break, I got brutal strength too. It gonna happen. How's it going? Well, it's a pleasure. Well, we got you a second time. So I don't think the 6% speed's gonna make all that much of a difference at rank one, but we're gonna try for the basement. Yeah, it's not even, mm, not even close. Only tier three is worth a damn. Not going through any windows. Man, they really are just going around disarming all my traps. Got it. Barely, but we got it. Am I not going to make it down in there? Down I will. Yeah, we're in the same spot. That's not going to happen. Wasting too much time disarming my traps. They're going to die. I'm not even getting jennies. Like, it takes me a heartbeat to get my traps back online. It's not a hard task. Oh well, kids. Oh well. I got a jenny finally. Hmm. Wow. Talk about the greediest move you could have done. Had you not done anything, you could have saved her, not died yourself, gotten her off the hook, you know, whatever. The usual. What the fuck was that? Okay. Take it as it is. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I don't play that game. I actually got stuck. Holy shit. That was not smart, girl. There's a lot wrong with what you've done. Oi. These side paths do not help. Hmm. Go for that trip. Boom! And it paid off. You know what? As long as you just stay diligent on your traps, nothing could possibly go wrong. Well, we gotta get to the basement somehow. 
This level one agitation is really not doing it for me. Mm. Sorry, hun. I really, really wish I I didn't have a disconnect. I'm sorry, guys. Usually, but I, I just don't have time to do another one, um, which is the big problem with doing daily content. Is like today. It was just a really bad day. But hey, I made do with my traps. They were going around disarming all my traps. Now, given that's not a bad idea as far as preventing, you know, you from going through a window and you're opening yourself up to having additional escape routes, um, you're also not getting generators. And as I kill people, like I've just done, even if you have escape routes, you don't... Mm. Mm. It's... It was, it was a trade that I don't think was worth it. They could have gotten the gems. I don't have no it or anything. They don't know that, but they could have gotten the totems if they were truth, truthfully aware. Didn't even have borrowed time. Aww. Running a skeleton key with... Uh, is that on death or on use? Unlocking, yeah. They intended to use it. I, I'm assuming it was a... A survive with friends one of them had an, a fateful disconnect but it was it was a fun game and I may do with what I had I'm kind of thankful to be honest that I didn't have to go against the flashlight user would have been a pain in my ass but the trick to avoiding a blind if they're shining it at you is look straight up they can't blind you it's not possible the, the game has allowed this so um, if a killer is also looking straight up don't think that you're going to eventually blind him you're not uh, but he's got to look up. Now, he can't look up while he's picking someone up, so if you're going to go for that blind, that's a good time. So that's all I have for today. I do apologize. Um, I don't think my next one's going to be Trapper. I might have a bit more for you guys later down the line. Uh, I just wanted to show what we did when we fresh prestiged into uh, leveling up the blood web and what it's like to go from then and then changing your build and trying to make the best of what you've got. Cause that's important. If you don't make the best of what you got, it's going to be a pain in the ass. And I can understand that some frustrations of not having the perks. But you can make perks work for you. Just remember, use perks that better cover the weaknesses you need. And sometimes you don't have all the perks you need, but work with what you've got. And you can make the best of it. Um, make sure that you're using proper add-ons. Make sure that while through your blood web, you're getting the add-ons you want. Um, there's no one set of perks that dominates for killers. Uh, there are only perks that cover the weaknesses you have as a killer. For example, one of my favorites on Trapper is Noen, because it covers his instant down weakness. He doesn't have one. Uh, but that end game, being he loses so much time in the early game, having Noen at the end game covers my weakness of not having that early game. So it helps me play. But having trap setters and a Trapper bag helps cover that weakness also because you get to put more traps down faster and you don't have to worry too much about it and waste too much time in the early game uh, and that's for trapper so if you guys want to see the next killer that gets pres prestiged make your votes down below um obviously hillbilly is prestige three i cannot prestige him any further but every other killer is up for grabs yes even freddy so if you want a killer fresh prestige versus rank one let me know. Thank you, everybody, for watching. If you like what I do here, please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, good game.